day, everyone. St. Thomas Aquinas once suggested that it's a sin to not give a compliment to someone when it's deserved, because by withholding our praise, we're depriving that person of the food that he or she needs to live on. While it not, might not be a sin to withhold a compliment, it is a loss for both the person deserving the compliment and for the one withholding it. In praising someone, we give him or her a bit of needed food for their soul, and we are also feeding our own soul. We cannot be healthy unless we are giving ourselves away. One writer says, healthy admiration is a philanthropy for the soul. In complimenting others, we are tapping into what is deepest inside of us, namely the image and likeness of God. The image and likeness of God that is inside of us is an energy. Beyond our own hurts, pride, sin, and pettiness, what is most real within us is a graciousness, which, like God, can look at the world and say, it is good, it is very good. Praise, then, is not something we do give out easily. Most of the time, we are blocked by our own frustrations, and perhaps we may feel that we have been insufficiently praised. This can lead us to harboring jealousies and being cynical. Praise, that is honest, works more at humbling a person. We can't be loved too much, only loved wrongly. Real love and real maturity distinguish between praising another for what is praiseworthy and challenging those areas of someone's life that need correction. Challenge and correction are only effective if a person first knows and believes that he or she is loved. In conclusion, paying a compliment when one is when one is due is virtuous and a sign of our growing awareness of God's love for us. Have a blessed week.